welcome to botany class let's move to the next topic bacteriophage we shall discuss the structure of bacteriophage and the multiplication of bacteriophage that is life cycle of bacteriophage so today's learning objectives are structure of bacteriophage and life cycle of bacteriophage so first question is define bacteriophage viruses infecting bacteria are called as bacteriophages viruses infecting bacteria are called as bacteriophages it literally means eaters of bacteria now this bacteriophages are abundant in soil sewage water sewage water fruits vegetables fruits and vegetables even milk also milk so bacteriophages are abundant in soil sewage fruits vegetables as well as milk so let's see the structure of bacteriophage look at this diagram this is the structure of t4 bacteriophage t4 bacteriophage the t4 bacteriophage which consists of a head part a head this is a hexagonal head a head followed by a tail the tail which consists of inner central core of sheath and the head and the tail is connected by a collar so the bacteriophages which consist of a head tail which is connected by the head and the tail connected by a collar and the base of this tail there are basal plate this is the basal plate and tail fibers with spikes are present in it inside the hexagonal head the head head is made up of protein so it consists of 2000 identical protein subunits the hexagonal head is made up of 2000 identical protein subunits in inside the head hexagonal head there is a genetic material that is dna ds dna ds dna which is called double stranded dna ds dna deoxyribonucleic acid which is 50 micrometer so this head is the genetic material dna ds dna which is surrounded by a hexagonal head a protein and a nucleic acid content present inside the head nucleic acid is surrounded by a protein coat and it's followed by head is followed by tail which is connected by a collar and tail fibers and the basal plate this is the structure of bacteriophage now life cycle of bacteriophage when you see the life cycle of bacteriophage there are two different types of life cycle bacteriophages shows two different types of life cycle it multiplies in two different ways they are named as lytic cycle and lysogenic cycle lytic cycle and lysogenic cycle lytic cycle is otherwise called virulent cycle lysogenic cycle is called as avirulent what's the difference between these two in lytic cycle lytic cycle at the end of this process it lysis lysis taking place in the host it kills the lytic cycle the host is killed by the this virus so the bacteriophage which kills the bacteria that is the host but lysogenic cycle lys lytic is not taking place that's the difference among these two let's see one by one first cycle is called as lytic cycle or virulent cycle this is these are the diagrams which shows lytic cycle there are five different steps involved in this the first step of lytic cycle is called as adsorption adsorption 
second step is penetration third step is first one adsorption penetration then the third step is synthesis and the fourth step is assembly or maturation maturation or assembly and the last step is release of progeny release so this all are comes under lytic cycle so lytic cycle it completely lice is taking place kills the host so first step is adsorption how this enter into the host this bacteriophage how it enter into the host and multiplies within its host body so first step is adsorption adsorption is the process look at this diagram this is the bacteria here the host is bacteria what are bacteriophages bacteriophages which viruses which infects bacteria are called as bacteriophages so this is the bacteriophage which is going to kills the bacteria this is the bacteria that is called as a host this is the host bacteria is the host so this bacteriophage at first it adsorption the first process is called as adsorption during adsorption there are two process taking place the first process during adsorption is lanting lanting and pinning there are two different steps involved in adsorption lanting and pinning what is this lanting and pinning at first when this bacteriophage comes and contact with the cell wall of the bacteria that is the host when it comes and contact with this it finds a recognition place or recognition site it recognizes a particular site to sit on the or it enter into it finds a place it recognizes a place with the help of this tail fibers this tail fibers which attached on the surface of cell wall that process is known as lanting the bacteriophage just lands on the surface of cell wall of bacteria that process is lanting as soon as this lanting process gets over this bacteriophage it start to the recognize uh, the, already there is a recognition site in the recognition site with the help of this base cell plate this tail fibers which bends down so with the help of this tail fibers here it bends down it bends down and anchor the base cell plate here so just it anchor the base cell plate with the help of tail, tail fibers so it bends down and it pins the process is called as pinning so adsorption there are two different process lanting and pinning each one is two more question what is lanting what is pinning next step is penetration so here the nuclear content the dna material has to enter inside it has to inject the dna content into the host so second step is penetration how it penetrates so as soon as it lanting and pinning gets over this part of the here is the penetration during penetration the cell wall of the host started to degrade or disintegrate with mechanical or enzymatic method it degraded the cell wall has to degrade host cell wall is started to degrade with the help of the enzyme lysozyme so lysozyme enzyme which degrades this and this dna content is inject through this region at the re degenerated part of the cell wall this basal plate now enlarges the basal plate of bacteriophage enlarges and allows way to enter into the dna content inside the host 
as soon as this enter inside now this process is called as transfection transfer of this dna the bacteriophage dna transferred into the host cell through this cell wall so this process is transfection the next step is synthesis as soon as the genetic material is transferred when it is entered into the host now see when it is entered inside it contains the dna inside the head now the dna part is entered inside the host now the empty shell is outside so this empty shell is known as ghost so when you write about this penetration there are two process transfection transfection and ghost two two mark question is there what is transfection and what is ghost after injecting this dna content this outer side of the head part is empty without nucleic acid now this process is known as this part is known as the empty shell outside is called as ghost so nucleic acid only it is virulent so this nucleic acid injected inside nucleic acid is injected inside called transfection now the empty shell outside is called as ghost now third step is called as synthesis what are synthesis now when the nucleic acid or the ds dna the dna when it is entered into the host it arrests the synthesis of host dna because the host dna which started to degenerate and the phage dna which started to multiply so it synthesizes the dna the head part the dna part the tail part the tail fibers collar each and every part are synthesized which is synthesized and when the phage dna is in the started to synthesize this one started to degenerate the host dna material started to degenerate this is called synthesis and everything is highly synthesized within the cell wall of bacteria but the nuclear content of the bacteria disintegrate then next process is assembly so during assembly the assembly process of assembly at first the head tail dna and the tail fiber pins base plate everything synthesized separately now all this separated this uh, synthesized uh, different parts are assembled together now this process is known as maturation so at the process of assembling the head uh, the head is enclosed to with the dna content which enter into the head and the tail attached with the head connected with the collar this process it assembling taking place this process of assembling is known as maturation so now in this assembly you write about the process maturation to mark question what is meant by maturation this all parts separate parts uh, at first the parts are separated the head tail everything synthesized separately during the stage of assembly all these separated parts are connected together and it assembled together the process is known as maturation then final stage of this lytic cycle the name of the cycle is lytic cycle so at this stage it ruptures the host cell wall because now host dna content everything arrested it lytic taking place lysis is taking place it inactivate the host body now all these virulent progenies bacteriophage progenies are released by the rupturing of the cell wall the bacterial cell wall this is the bacterial cell wall it ruptures the bacterial cell wall and the phages or the bacteriophages progenies are released out by rupturing the cell wall of the host this process is known as release of new phage particle so at the end of this process completely the bacteria the host is inactivate and the bacterial phage which multiplies and comes out so this is lytic cycle so very important five mark question 
Another cycle is there, lysogenic cycle, otherwise known as avirulent. Here what happens? Here this these diagrams which represents this lysogenic cycle. Here what happens? The bacteriophage which attaches at first it attach on the surface of the cell wall of bacteria. So bacteriophage, what is bacteriophage? Viruses infect bacteria are called bacteriophage. So this bacteriophage attach on the surface of cell wall of bacteria. Bacteria is the host. So bacteria contains contains a nucleic acid. There is a nuclear material and this also contains DNA. Here what happens when this linear DNA, the phage DNA is linear. The linear phage DNA, see this is the linear phage DNA. When it enters inside this host DNA, it becomes circular. So linear DNA, bacteriophage DNA is linear. When it enters inside, it becomes circular DNA, circular phage DNA. This is the circular phage DNA and this is the bacterial genome, bacterial DNA content. This genetic material of bacteria. This is genetic material of bacteria. This is the integrated phage DNA. Now both the DNAs are present within the host cell. Next phase, the next stage is once this bacteriophage DNA enters inside the bacterial DNA which integrates together by the process of recombination which combines together. So this part, part of the bacterial DNA and part of the bacteriophage DNA integrated together and now this stage is called as prophage. So now this uh, phage is phage DNA is known as prophage. A new DNA recombinant DNA is formed. So it is integrated. This completely not kills the so kills the content of uh, DNA content of the host but both are interconnected it interact together and forms a prophage so this prophage is represented by so it represented by two repressor proteins to control over this synthesis of progeny so this prophage is synthesized so this prophage when the bacteria multiplies when this bacterial cell reproducing, the pro prophage multiplies. It, the prophage multiplies within the host and when the cell divides, the prophage is multiplies. So both the genomes or the genetic material both mix together and it cannot completely kill the host. That is the difference between the lytic cycle and the lysogenic. When you compare this lytic cycle, the bacterial genetic material will not be there. Instead, the bacteriophage DNA completely synthesize and release the progeny. But here, there is an integration and that integrated the DNA content is called as prophage. So, prophage multiplies whenever this bacteria reproduces. This cycle is called as lysogenic cycle. Hope you understand clear. So today what are the questions? You have to learn first definition define bacteriophage and structure of T4 bacteriophage. Draw this diagram. This is another diagram. Lytic cycle, life cycle of bacteriophage. Two types. Lytic cycle, lysogenic cycle. So this is one diagram. This is another diagram. This is three different diagrams with different questions. This is 5 mark question. This is also 5 mark question, structure of T4 bacteria 5 mark question and define bacteriophages 2 mark question. Before the next class, learn everything. Thank you.